So I'm just creating the theme reveal for October and they look exactly the same, don't they? <laughs> this one is supposed to have more of a shadow, like, I don't know if you can see it there, you can kind of see it has a shadow and this one doesn't. And, oh, the stress of the little things in the business. <laughs> what a fun video this is going to be. everybody this is Zoe from No Safe Place. Now my most requested video is what goes on behind the scenes at Wildest Dreams. Now if you don't know Wildest Dreams is the book subscription box that I own and pretty much run single-handedly. So at the moment as you've just seen I am currently working on the theme reveal which is supposed to go up tomorrow so very prepared as always. So as I say, it's the end of August at the moment, it's August the 31st and this video will be a vlog of me from now to the 15th of October. So this is how long putting a box together takes, for me it does anyway. I like to be very very ahead of the game. Now obviously I can't show you all of the process because a lot of it started months ago in one of these journals, just jotting down ideas for October and what I wanted it to include. I've kind of cheated because I have already emailed the book publisher to see if I can get the book and I have also messaged the ladies that are doing the tea. We haven't actually decided on anything yet so I thought I would show you that process and how we come to a decision, how we come up with the designs for the tea and I also haven't ordered the bath product because I thought that would be fun to record. I know exactly what it's going to be so that's going to be exciting. I'll also be showing you how I put together all the boxes, so how I wrap everything, how it's kind of like a factory line and how everything goes into the boxes, how I write out all the postage labels, all the things that I find incredibly boring that you guys seem to want to know. For the majority of this vlog I will probably be wearing no makeup and have not had my hair brushed, which is pretty much how I'm presenting myself at the moment. But yeah, I think this is going to be a fun vlog. I feel like you guys might not know how much work goes into this, kind of even down to doing things like the theme reveals, which I do spend a lot of time on. I was toying with calling the theme monsters and we are monsters, so I finally decided on we are monsters because it reminds me of Shadowhunters. We are monsters, oh. Yeah, I will keep you updated. As I say, you will see two lots of wrapping because I'm gonna be wrapping the September box, but obviously that's part of the process and in the time period of when I'm sorting out the October box. It's very confusing. I'll see you guys again soon. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I also do a bit of planning on my phone. So this is for the October Monsters box and just a few rough ideas of what I wanted to maybe include in the upcoming box. Obviously, this isn't set in stone at all. It's just rough ideas and things that I hope I can sort out. So a little update on the tea planning. I just messaged one of the girls at Rosie Lee Tea saying this. Just wondered if we could start planning October's tea. I'd like it to be called A Monster's World with this savage song underneath in smaller font and maybe a silhouette of a monster as the picture. And as for the flavour, I wasn't really sure. I wanted something Halloween-y, perhaps something pumpkin-y. So I asked if they had any suggestions. She has just replied saying that they have caramelised pumpkin tea made especially for Halloween. So I of course have to include that. I'm such a massive Halloween fan so anything Halloween-y I'm living for. We're also deciding on what monster to include on the silhouette now. I'm thinking either something devilish, so maybe satanic, or also like a silhouette of a skeletal being because that's also in this savage song. So it's gonna be one of those two. So I will show you some of the designs that they come back with and the color schemes and the font, all things like that, because they are all things that I have to decide on and show you what I choose. Hopefully I make a good decision. Okay, so this is the list of fonts. She normally sends me about eight. Today we have seven. And I asked for like a creepy feel. So now I have to choose between one of these. At the moment, I think it's going to be number two. I think that matches the book most, and I think that's most Halloween-y. Now, because one of the monsters in this Savage Song is described as a skeletal being, I thought this image matched really well, so that is the chosen one. I think I'm going to make the red a little bit darker because it looks a bit too happy at the moment. And I think I'm going to go for the bold because it has more of an effect. But yes, that is the chosen design for the tea label this month. Oh guys, I am a failure. I have 
spent an hour this morning doing the content sheet for September and October boxes, which didn't film a thing of, so I'll have to show you all of that when it gets here and explain the process because that will be a bit easier. But I am about to go into the office and start wrapping books for this month, so I'll show you how that process works, which I'm very excited about. you guys a wildest dreams behind the scenes video and it is coming it just isn't as packed as I thought it would be because I forgot most of the time to record things and when new things have happened my camera hasn't been around so it's just been a bit of a nightmare really so the video is coming you probably will have just seen a whole host of clips of what the first few weeks entailed so at the end I'm gonna watch everything back and then possibly do a wrap up at the end just of all the parts that I've missed which is probably a lot but today is packing day I'm off to pack everything in the boxes which usually takes a few hours so I will take you along with me this time I have just finished wrapping the boxes that takes about two to three hours depending on how much is going into the box that month obviously this month is a bit fuller as you've probably just seen from me putting the stuff in the boxes so it did take a bit longer also something I didn't film because I thought it was super super boring was me typing out the postage labels so every month I have to type out a hundred postage labels which is just stressful especially when they're from different countries so that took me about an hour to do just now but that's all finished so the next thing that I have to do is print the postage labels out cut them up and stick them onto the boxes and then take them to the sorting office now whilst I'm sitting here I just want to have a talk about something so sometimes people will say oh the box is a little bit expensive for what it is and I find that with a lot of book subscription boxes one of the most common kind of moans I guess is that it, they are a bit expensive now if you just take into account the products alone so just what you see as what you're getting from it so for me it's the book the tea the tea bags the bath product and then sometimes a bookmark or something similar along those lines or this month it was some sweets and a blood syringe pen all the little things like that you only see that as the things that you're paying for and I completely get that before I started a business I was exactly the same but if you total all that up it does equal usually to about 18 pounds sometimes a little bit over including postage which obviously is about three pound what I think some of you forget is how expensive everything else is so for example the boxes they are around 50p each and then when you add in things like the tissue paper, the stickers, the review cards and the content sheet, just the little extras that you probably don't really take that much notice of and don't kind of add to the total of a box, it all adds up slowly but surely and definitely makes it more expensive. Also things like printer ink and paper for printing the labels on, etc, etc. There are so many little extras that you guys don't think of. Even for example, the Crate Joy fees. So on top of it being 30 pound a month to run the site, for example, a box is 18 pound, that's what it sells for. But after PayPal fees or card fees, and the fees that Cratejoy takes, I get about £17.20 a box. So already they have already taken almost a pound in fees. So the next time that you're thinking, oh, is this box worth the money? There is a lot of thought that goes into that box and a lot of effort. And actually no one's ever really said to me 
maybe one or two people that they don't think it's worth the money but I have seen a lot of comments like that about book boxes as a whole. So the next time that you look at a box, think of all the little tiny things like that that make such a huge difference to the aesthetic look of a book box, but you don't really see it as value for money as such. So yeah, that was just a little, a mini rant there because I put a lot, a lot of time and effort into my boxes and that is one of the biggest compliments I get about it that they can see the love and care that has gone into every box and honestly those comments mean the absolute world to me so thank you hello so I have just spent about an hour and a half cutting out shipping labels now I should probably get them done as stickers because it would save me so much time but you know why would I make things easier for myself? So I was going to record it, but I felt like me cutting out bits of paper for an hour and a half wasn't the cutting edge behind the scenes content you guys were looking for when you clicked on this video. So these are all the labels I've just spent a very long time cutting out and they're all good to go and go and put on the boxes. I think they're going to be shipped today, which is the 12th, which is a bit earlier than usual, but I know that you guys like it when boxes get sent out a bit earlier than usual, so fingers crossed it all goes well today. I'm not feeling great today. I just went to see Othello yesterday and there was a lot of standing involved, so I'm feeling a bit like a zombie. done well for October anyway so that is it obviously in the background I have been planning the November box and have got all of that ordered but I couldn't show you any of that because this video will likely go live before I send out the November boxes and we don't want any spoilers so they have just been dropped off at the post office and I'm feeling happy. Well, I feel happy and a little bit scared. I always feel nervous as I drop the boxes off because waiting for people's reactions is always scary, especially if it's a box that's been really hyped up. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Let's start from the beginning. So from the beginning, it is all about coming up with ideas, coming up with themes, which I always plan in my notepad. And then it's finding suppliers I can't remember what I have and haven't filmed, so I may have got a lot of this, but I can't remember. So I find suppliers, which sometimes takes a while. I compare quotes, see who I can find cheaper. I probably didn't include that, mainly because I don't want to seem... Hello there, son. Let's move, shall we? Yeah, I probably haven't shown that because I didn't want to throw shade at other people's companies that I didn't end up choosing. So yeah, once I've chose the people that I want to work with, we then work on designs and usually that is the thing that takes the longest, coming up with ideas, colour schemes. I know I showed that with the tea, but obviously I do that with everyone that I work with. And then it's buying the little things like tissue paper, boxes, wrapping paper, stickers, everything like that, every little minute detail. Then... Once I've bought all of that, I start doing the practical things like wrapping books, putting the stickers on, and then I start packaging the boxes. And then all whilst this is going on, I am marketing the box and planning for the next month's box and ordering products for the next month's box. And I'll be honest, it's absolutely manic. Then once they're packed, obviously we print out all the shipping labels and then it goes to the post office. Honestly, for one person, it is a lot of work. You may have seen my godmum in some of the footage. So if you're wondering who that is, yes, it's my godmum and she sometimes helps me because it can be very, very overwhelming as one person, especially when you're dealing with customers as well who are emailing and people that want to be reps and keeping up with all the social medias. It is really, really difficult. And I'll be honest, you don't usually get that much profit. I do this because I love books and 
I want to share my love of reading and I wanted to make a box that was cheap enough for people like me to buy. That is why I keep it as cheap as possible because I know how difficult it is to feel like you're missing out on a book box and that's exactly why I made this. But yeah, I hope you've seen how much hard work and effort goes into each and every one of these boxes and how much love I put into them because honestly, I don't think I love anything more than making these boxes for you guys and seeing everyone so happy makes me happy in return. So yeah, if you like this style of video, I can definitely do it again. I feel like it might be a bit samey though because once you've seen it once, you know how it works. Although maybe I wouldn't miss out as much if I did it again because I missed out a hell of a lot, I know that. And I feel like this video will be extra long as well, so if you made it this far, thank you. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this style of video, let me know your thoughts. And if you want one of my book boxes, I will link them in the description box below. The November theme is Love Triangles. And I'm very excited about that one because I've been working with a very famous YouTuber slash author on one of the products. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel. And I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.